Hey, it's Steve with Trimble and the Building Point Teams. So with this video, we're going to show you how to do the processing rather than um, on field link. This would be on RealWorks. You get some different deliverables. You can do some more contour creation and edit the data a little bit more if that's necessary. So I'm just going to bring in um, the TDX that was already um, essentially there. Let's see if it says Quan Bell or no. Um, so I've exported the TDX from my tablet, again, just bringing it in here and then we'll extract it out. Here, because we're just doing a floor analysis, quarter inch is probably too much. I could probably go into half inch. This is just how many points are going to be brought in. And then we'll let that chug through and come back when it's here. So it's already done. Um, you can see all those point clouds are brought in. Do it in color here just to see what we're looking at. Here's the beginning of that building. I can actually view it in elevation, but again, I actually don't like this as much because it's a little bit harder to control that. Moving into um, production is where I can actually start to analyze the data. Um, because I'm looking at just a ground, I'll do a sampling and just a floor extraction. Um, and so once that's done, we'll see if it likes the uh, bricks there. Keep the floor, hit create, and what we have here is just the floor of that ground. So let me come from the top down view. Again, here is where the water is getting in. Um, that'll be the area we analyze very quickly with a floor inspection. And define that area here. We'll do a little bit bigger, but about a thousand square foot, maybe a little bit older, over. Um, hit this as far as the reference elevation. I set that near the door um, just by clicking it. So that was three sixty-eighths of an inch. We're gonna do zero. So I actually hit a reference elevation or changed it so that near the door was zero. Out of tolerance, we'll keep that an eighth inch. And what that'll do is anything that's above an eighth inch will, will essentially be out of tolerance. Anything that's below an eighth inch will be also out of tolerance. Anything between, again, inside tolerance. So here's what that looks like. Um, a lot of that is below eighth inch. You can see where it actually dips down here. Um, but when there's probably enough rain, you'll see runoff here that then um, falls in to those doors. Uh, export and create this. Uh, we'll hopefully write over all this that I created before. Um, what this is creating as an export is a similar surface analysis um, area above, area below. I can change this to, to foot. I just need to do that in my settings before I create it. Um, volume high, volume low. Um, the other nice things that's in there as well are, um, come back to it, are a um, exterior map. So this is what some contractors are like, especially on bigger. So this will be um, a JPEG and then you also get a TIFF that you can then import as well um, and share those points that you would create in uh, FieldLink are also there and able to be exported as a DWG from here. Um, so that's one of the kind of similar report creation that you get out of FieldLink. The other thing you can do here is with that um, created map, is if I turn this on, let me make sure turn off the grid. Um, I can do an inspection map analyzer and create uh, more than just the two contours that we saw uh, within field length. So create that, um, select ISO curves, and you can see I have all those contours that are referenced again to that zero and um, with ever I, wherever I hit uh, as a geo reference. So we'll close that, we'll create all those points. Those are those ISO curves. I can export those out as a DWG if I want. Um, the other big value um, with uh, with um, RealWorks is the ability to do pretty quick uh, drawing. So I can actually come in here and do a uh, we'll do a cutting plan. And what that'll allow me to then do is create essentially a floor plan of this area. So we'll do it by go back one, make sure I'm, I have this guy selected. Open the floor, hit C, drop that down a little bit. And 
так на сюда ничего I'm seeing here is what I like, and so this is my area I'm most concerned with. We'll do a little bit thicker, six inches, and then let me see if I can actually click down into this a little bit better. And so there's my probably a better slice. Um, so all that did was create a essentially a cross section six, inch, six inches thick. Um, that by after doing that, I can then come in here and hit up top, see a two D um, easy line, and that'll just kind of create uh, lines that I can then export from as a DWG that are again referenced along with. Uh, those contour lines and everything else that's there. So I just did a slice around where we're looking at and then um, create essentially DWG lines. And I can come through here and edit and merge these together if there's missing data. Um, but generally, um, you can also create this as a bigger threshold so that those lines are, are longer. So if we do one inch, we'll see what that gives us. Kind of like that a little bit more. Um, tolerance is just where it kind of goes through and separates on we'll see what that looks like simplify so you can see um bring that back down to one inch i can use arcs if i want to too as well too but these are just lines that are created um i can apply that and uh with those cross sections export those as a dwg too so a couple different um options as far as what to export so this one Let's move these out just to make sure we're selecting everything. So, do this by inches and export. So selecting both the plan and contours, we can name the plan and contour. I can export it as a DWG or DXF. Um, actually, no, let's do this one more time. So that'll just be for naming. Um, make sure you select the correct unit you want and then hit export. Um, once that's done, we'll send it into uh, Connect, make sure we can view it. Um, you can then add obviously a plan grid, um, annotations, whatever. It's a DWG like anything else. So looking at here in Connect, we have those contour lines, um, as well as a plan view that I should probably include for the cross cut of where we're looking at um, from a little bit higher up. So you can bring that into uh, AutoCAD, et cetera, and create a similar type plan. So those are your kind of improvements obviously more contour lines more points reporting slightly different but those are your differences in between field link and real works again the other uh bigger advantage with real works is the ability that if you're looking at a full um analysis you can generally clip up the data a little bit better actually a lot better um because you have the ability to segmentate and have different clouds cut and merge and clean it up so yeah thank you